Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an Acer C720P Chromebook, which is a touchscreen model that lets you interact using either the keyboard and uh, touchpad or a mouse, or the touchscreen if you would prefer. And it's uh, running Google Chrome OS, which is an operating system that's basically based on the Chrome web browser. You can run multiple tabs side by side, you can run web apps, you can use YouTube, you can use Netflix, you can use all sorts of different things. But there are some things that might be a little bit difficult to do when you're using a uh, operating system that basically relies on cloud apps. So for instance, you can edit, uh, do some basic edits to photos uh, using some built-in tools like the file browser which lets you go to your downloads, open uh, something, click edit, and so forth. But it's really pretty basic. Uh, and then things like editing videos, why would I want to upload a huge video to the internet, edit it, download it, and then re-upload it to a different website? So there's sometimes uh, when you're using a Chromebook, if you're using it as a replacement for a full-blown desktop, when you might want to use um, more desktop style applications. So it is possible to run Ubuntu, Debian, and other Linux-based operating systems using the same hardware. And in fact, I'm gonna show you a way that you can run Ubuntu side-by-side -side with Chrome without even rebooting. Um, for instructions on how to do this, you're gonna to wanna to go to the website, lilliputing.com, and I'll have links to the Crouton website. Uh, first, let's just go ahead and close what I just did and start from scratch. So let's say you've got a browser window open here you uh, first need to get your uh, device into developer mode and once you've done that you can hit Control alt t to uh, open up a terminal type shell to get a command line and from here if you download and install the crouton script after that's done the whole thing takes uh, 20 30 40 minutes or so basically it downloads and installs ubuntu you can just type start xfce actually you want to type sudo start xfce4 or whatever desktop environment you have and it boots you right into ubuntu so here we've got a terminal again running and uh, you can see that we've got the xfc desktop environment we've got access to the chromium web browser i also installed firefox just for kicks um, and other applications so just to show again that we're running both operating systems side by side i'm going to hit Control alt shift arrow and here we are once again back in Chrome. Hit it again and we're over here. So from here, I can go to the Ubuntu Software Center. Enter my password. Actually, let's just go ahead and pull this up. And you can see now we have access to all sorts of different applications. There's games, graphics, internet, multimedia, and so forth. So there's uh, all sorts of different apps that you can download and install. Now there's a limited amount of storage. This device only has about 32 gigs on its solid state drive. So uh, there's, there's really only so much you're gonna be able to install. But it does give you, oops, the option of running desktop style apps like GIMP. So if I wanted to edit photos, and have more uh, control over what I can do. Now we've got the full GIMP image editing software. Uh, likewise, you could edit videos using uh, Linux-based applications for doing that, or uh, you know, pretty much anything else that you would like to do. You can also, if you really wanted to, erase Chrome OS entirely and install Ubuntu or another operating system. Um, it's not something that I would necessarily recommend because it's nice to sort of be able to switch back and forth here, but if you're looking for a relatively cheap laptop that you can use as a Linux-based computer, I'm just gonna log out here and this will return us to Chrome. Um, this way you don't have to pay for a Windows license. So a lot of people buy Windows laptops and install Ubuntu or other operating systems, Fedora, um, Arch, and so forth. This way, you're not paying any money to Microsoft if you uh, just wanted to pick up an Acer C720P Chromebook. Oh, you know what I forgot to show you? sudo start xfce4. Uh, one of the other reasons that it's nice to use this crouton script is that it actually lets you use the touch screen. So you can see that as I do this, I can tap and move. Now it's not quite perfect when you're doing it this way. Um, 
but you don't have to install any special drivers to get it to work. The reason why it's not quite perfect, I think, is because you sort of have to double tap and then switch. So, you know, the operating system might not be quite as optimized for touch as Chrome OS, but it's sharing the same... Yeah, so I'm having trouble selecting here. Uh, so, you, But it's using the same kernel as we were using in Chrome OS, and it would help if I typed that website right. And what that means is that anything that works in terms of hardware, the Wi-Fi, the touch screen, uh, anything that works in Chrome should also work in Ubuntu when you're using this crouton script. So again, for uh, details on how to use it, how to install it, you can go to lilliputing.com um, or Google crouton and Chrome OS or crouton and Chromebook, and uh, you should be able to find instructions that way. And again, I'll log out and that'll close this session and just return us to Chrome OS. And then I can uh, just type exit from this terminal window when that is done. So again, Brad Linder, Lilliputing, a look at Chrome OS running with Ubuntu so you can run desktop apps as well as web apps.